Well, hello, hello, everybody. My name is Grovan, and welcome back to part 13 of my Let's Play Oblivion series. Um, last time, we were blazing our way through the arena, and now we are going to finish the arena. We've got a couple of ranks to go, and uh, yeah, last time, the last fight we had was like three Argonians, and it was really hard, but now uh, Owen said that it's gonna. this one's going to be like a vacation because it's just going to be like a Khajiit with uh, normal stuff. So I said we were going to prepare before, but I don't think I'm going to need to prepare much. I went through all my inventory and everything and made sure we have everything set up. We got a, a shield here, a shield of the tower or something. We've got a, uh, an enchanted... I think it's a short sword, but it looks like a dagger. And we've also got the Star of the West to uh, absorb some of this guy's stamina. So this fight should be pretty easy. Let's do it. Okay, so I'm going to try and absorb this guy's stamina like immediately. You can only cast powers once per day. That's weird because I thought I saved or I um, slept for a day. Oh well, okay, so we won't be able to do that. This guy should fall just as easily anyways got a nice elven sword and an elven shield it looks like that's not gonna help him at all is it okay there's the heal well he's actually already got us down to like half health better be careful here come on go for it all right let's hit this guy with some fireballs just to weaken him a little bit probably be a good idea to uh, heal up a little bit now because we are getting dangerously low. And as many of you know in Oblivion, when you die it sort of just happens and you're not really ready for it. Alright, so that fight was a little harder than I thought. We Our health got uh, pretty low there. So depending on what Owen says is our next fight, as you can see there, I sort of littered my garbage. We definitely want to take a nap for a day just so that we can get that Star of the West power. But let's see what he says. You showed that cat whose claws are sharper, eh? I would expect no less. Here's your gold. Now go wash up. You look awful. What's a gladiator without an arena to fight in? So get up there and start cracking some skulls. Besides, one more fight and you'll advance again. The next one's a Breton. He looks like a bit of a dandy, but he's deadly with a blade. He has more experience than you, so be prepared. The one thing that I always thought was weird is Owen's dialogue is so, like, the voice actor says it so weirdly. Like, he, looks a lot, he looks a bit like a dandy. Like, it's just, like, everything he says, is, he has so much weird, um, reading the word, as it always happens in Let's Plays, but, like, he just says the words very, 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 in, in an odd manner, is what I'm trying to say. Okay, um, so, this guy is a Breton. You know what? I, I think we can... We might as well just sleep just so we can get that Star of the West power, but I think we can take this guy too without having to restock. So, uh, let's wait. You know what? No. I, I don't want to, like, wait till past the time where we can fight, so let's just go in and just jump head on in and, uh, and try and take this guy head on. So, let's take a look at how much charges I have for this weapon I'm using really quickly. One charge, so we're gonna have to switch to a uh, short sword of frost, and then we get 13 charge. So, yeah, after this, we're pretty much definitely gonna have to um, get some new stuff. Good people of the Imperial City, welcome to the arena. You've prayed for it, and these combatants have bled for it. A high stakes advancement match. Let's see who has what it takes to be. Yo, new hero. So yeah, I was wrong last episode. There is a hero rank, and if we win this fight, we will become one. So let's try and do that. Wow, this does nothing to him. Oh, man. But that's because it's out of charge, of course. So let's go ahead and equip this short sword of frost, which has 13 charges. Let's see how much a power strike does. We're going to have to do it when we don't get staggered. Not that much. I think it's more economical to just slash away at this guy. Oh man, he's doing a lot of damage. You'll never leave. Alright, do we have our um We might have to use some of these scrolls here. Do we have our Star of the West Power yet? No, it's still not up. Oh god. Okay. Do we have any potions? One, that's not good. Um what can we use in our disposal to take this guy out? Let's take a look at our uh, our scrolls. Where are the scrolls at? 
We have Chameleon, which isn't going to do much. We have Flashbolt, Fire Damage, 20 points on target. Let's do that. Good thing that hit. Greater 45 health. Fortify health, 60 points for 60 seconds on self. That sounds good. Let's go ahead and do that. And uh, what else do we have? Open easy lock. Let's let's uh, open that guy's lock to his to his heart. Invisibility for 30 seconds. Uh, I don't think that much matters when you're fighting him, but we'll try it. Summon Rufio's ghost. I want to use that because it's like unique. So it looks like we only have shadow shape. Let's try that out. So now we're invisible. This guy's just gonna. I think we can get at least like a good sneak attack on him. Nope, that didn't even work. Wow. Come on, go for it. Guy's taking a beating, holy crap. Alright, let's try and finish this guy off with some fireballs since our sword does nothing. Come on, dude. Oh god. Alright, let's try and finish this guy off with uh, some arrows because, like I said, this sword is not doing anything right now. Do that and uh, some. Silver arrows look like the most damage. There we go. Oh man, that is, I've never had this much of a challenge in the arena because I always played on low difficulties, as you guys know. It's just the way I play video games a lot of the time. Wow. I cannot even imagine this on like super high difficulties. I guess you'd have to be a higher level to even try and attempt this. So let's uh, do that. Let's go level up really quick. We'll wait one hour. It sounds good. You've ascended to level six. You've learned a lot about Cyrodiil and a lot about yourself. It's hard to believe how ignorant you were, but now you have so much more to learn. Let's put up agility, speed, and some strength. Sounds good. Let's uh, get the next stuff from Owen really quick. By defeating that Breton, you've secured your advancement. It's been a long time since I've said this, but congratulations, hero. You're about to face off against the best the yellow team has to offer. Azura knows you're the best the blue team's got. The first yellow team hero you'll face is an Imperial in heavy raiment. He fights with an Akaviri longsword. Thing is, this guy used to be a blade. You know those guys who protect the Emperor? He's a trained swordsman, so keep your damn head down. So keep your damn head down. See? Um, alright, so yeah, I definitely don't want to go up against this guy with no potions and light armor and crappy weapons. So I'm going to head on over to the Imperial Market District, and uh, I will sort of just cut back to when I'm ready to fight this guy. So I will see you guys in literally one second. Goodbye. Alright everybody, welcome back. So basically what I just did was repaired everything in my inventory, which really didn't do much because uh, they don't have any uses anyways. Um... But I did buy a lot of arrows, I did get some potions, which cost a lot. I trained Sneak 3 points, and that's really it. We have to use the same armor. We could have gotten a different hood or helmet, but I didn't think there was much point, because the um, the Black Hand hood's pretty good anyways. And uh, yeah, I took a rest, and now we're all ready to go. Sufferthorn has two more uses, so we're going to use those two, and then we're going to switch over to the bow, and uh, I can use the Star of the West now, which will, which will hopefully give us a tiny little advantage. Also, I wanted to say, if you noticed, uh, this guy is gone, you know, that nice guy... Never mind, he's right there. Okay. I, I don't think that happens. I think he lives to the end. Um, so yeah. I saw your match against the Breton. You're a hero now. I, I'm i still in training, but I'll get there too. You sure will, buddy. Just keep that Farewell. awesome positive attitude. This guy's so nice. Okay, let's get our next match. Hey, something wrong? They're waiting for you up in the arena. The match is all set, my friend. Now get up to that arena and teach those yellow team maggots some manners. Alright, so I think we've actually already got the match. I forgot what he said. Oh, oh, right. It was the uh, Imperial and the heavy armor and a long sword or something like that. So, hopefully the stamina draining greater power will help us a lot in this fight. But I do have a lot of good potions, so if worse comes to worse, we'll be able to heal up. Good people of the Imperial City, welcome to the arena. Behold, as two heroes meet in the fighting pit for an epic battle worthy of song. Combatants, begin! So I think, like, in all my other playthroughs, usually what happens is um, I go into sneak mode, and I can usually get a sneak hit off, but I guess it's not going to happen in this because my sneak is just not high enough. Alright, so there goes Suffer Thorn. We're done with that. Um, let's switch now to Shadow Hunt. Just land to this guy with some arrows. 
even though he's probably not going to take a lot of damage from it. And we might be better off just fighting him with a, uh, a sword or something. So that's it for those. So let's switch to the steel now. And I think it would also be good to uh, do the stamina thing. There we go. Now, I'm not really sure what effect that's going to have. I guess it's just so that he can't power attack as much. It's probably not even that big of a deal. These arrows are doing a nice little chunk of damage. That's good. You might not have to use a potion, which would also be a good thing to do. A good thing to not do, considering how expensive those freaking potions were. Alright, so we're out of those arrows. Now we have 70 iron arrows, which do, like, no damage, but at the same time, we have a lot of them. This guy's gonna take either one or two more arrows. <laughs> look at look how many arrows he's gotten. Wow. He's like straight up Boromir, if you got that reference. A plus for all you guys who got that reference. Good job. I mean, it's not a hard reference to get. If you haven't watched Lord of the Rings, I don't know what you're doing with your life, in all honesty. Okay, let's heal up on the uh, Basin of Renewal. Yum, yum, yum. All feeling all renewed. Let's go talk to Owen. Defeating an arena hero is one thing. But defeating a former member of the Blades? You must be blessed by the Divine or something, my friend. Alright, he was part of the Blades, which if you guys didn't make the connection, that was like the people that we were accosted by uh, at the start of this in the prison. You're a hero, my friend. That crowd is out there for one reason, to see you destroy the Yellow Team. Now go give them what they want! Okay, hero. This next opponent is a High Elf Wizard. A master in the School of Destruction. But wait, it gets worse. He also uses an enchanted shield called the Grey Ages which gives him some serious magic resistances. Your best bet is to just charge straight in. Press the attack, and don't give him a chance to let off a spell. I don't want to have to sweep your ashes out of the arena. All right, so we're going up against a destruction wizard who uses an enchanted shield called the Grey Aegis, uh, which is going to give him some magic resistance. Good thing we don't use magic, huh? And he, Owen wants us to charge right in, but I'm going to hit him with some arrows and see how that works. <gasps> People of the Imperial City, welcome to the arena. Put your hands and your voices together for the two brave heroes who have come to rock the very foundations of this arena. Lower the gates! Alright buddy, go ahead, start slinging your magic while I hit you with these arrows. Huh, nice shot, buddy. Ow. Ow. I like how we keep saying these are like destruction wizards, yet they keep running at me with weapons. Like, what the hell is this? Wow, this guy's taking my health down very fast. Okay. Alright, let's, uh, let's switch to... What's our best bet in terms of a melee weapon? Sufferthorn does a lot, and it's a fast. Yeah, it looks like Sufferthorn's our best bet. We're also going to heal up really quick, so let's do a strong potion of healing. Yeah, that does a nice chunk of damage. Good. Come on. Do it. <sighs> There's the gray edge just right there. Wow, we're 15,000 gold. It would be great if we could actually loot it, huh? But we can't. Which sucks. Alright, so it looks like we've got... Sounds like we've got one more match as a hero, then we will become a champion, at which point, again, I don't remember if it's three or if it's only one, and then we have to fight this guy right here. But something interesting is going to happen, don't tell anybody, shh. I'll be honest, hero. With the kinds of victories you've been having, I knew that elf didn't stand a chance. Here's your gold. You're at the end of a long road, hero. This is the last time you'll face off against the yellow team before being named champion. Go up to that arena and make sure the people of Cyrodiil never forget that it was you who brought the yellow team to its knees. All right, this is it. Your last fight against the yellow team. I guess you could say they saved the best for last. The three best, actually. You're up against a swordsman, an archer, and a spellcaster. Two lower level combatants plus that yellow team champion you've seen down here. You beat all three and you get named champion. I know you can do this. Now get up there and show everyone why you're the best. Oh wait, there's one more thing. I sent Pork Chop the Boar up to the arena to help you out. He'll at least keep one of them distracted. Now good luck. 
Alright, so this might actually be the last fight before uh, we have to challenge the Grand Champion himself. So he said that the uh, the champion down here is going to be up there, and I don't see her anywhere, so I guess it just like took her out, because I think she was here right when before we talked with that. So we're going to go up against her, the champion, um, and it sounds like two other guys, a, uh, an archer and a spellcaster, and uh, we're going to have that boar, who's actually named Porkchop, to help us, but he's not really going to be doing a lot of damage. He's, his main purpose is going to be to serve as to like distract one of them. So we're going to save because this sounds like it's going to be fairly difficult. And I'm trying to decide what right now whether I should just change the difficulty down if uh, I die the first time or go prepare more. I mean, just for the sake of you know getting through the arena and uh, not worrying about it too much. I'm thinking just turn down the difficulty if I do die. Um, but I know a lot of you will probably be like, no, you're cheating. You don't do that. And that's that's a lame thing to do. People of the Imperial City, welcome to the arena. I give you a Blue King's hero. Can this brave combatant defeat three opponents and become the next champion? Let's Alright, so the Swordsman is going to be that champion, and wow, they're just rushing at me. Alright, Porkchop, you're going to have to help me out. I'm going to try and take out the uh, the Archer first, I think. That would probably seem like the most logical thing to do, so I'm just going to lay into this guy as fast as I can with the, uh, uh, what's it called? Come on, die, guy, die, please. There we go. Okay, one down. What is that freaking weapon called? Uh, Sufferthorn, Sufferthorn. And I'm going to heal myself. There we go, and now we have... Is Porkchop dead? No, he's he's on the Spellcaster. So now I'm going to take out the Spellcaster because that seems easier. Wow, she's already pretty low health. Maybe Porkchop does more than I thought. Okay, she's dead. Now we just got the Champion to take out. She's going to be difficult. As you can see, she's taking, like, no damage. Let's heal up a little bit. And, uh, you know, in all honesty, you could probably just, like, buy some time, just run around while Porkchop does damage to her over time. I'm not sure, though. Um, let's hit her with some arrows, though. sort of weaken her over time. Let Porkchop get up to her and do some damage. Yeah, that's doing like nothing. Wow, this person's like invincible. Holy crap. Wow, Porkchop does a lot of damage. Alright, so let's sort of get Porkchop close to her. Come on, Porkchop. And there's the heal. Whenever I play video games, I sort of think in like terms of DPS when I'm trying to take down somebody. Like, you know, what's the fastest way to take them down the most damage at one time? And so I'm trying to get her like close to Porkchop. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we have done it. We have become the blue team champion. We've killed that douchebag woman that kept insulting us. That was the other champion. We are now the blue team champion. Let's hit that basin of renewal. Yum, yum. And uh, let's talk to Owen see what's next. You did it. You beat him every last one. Do you know how long it will take for the yellow team to recover from this? <laughs> My friend, it is with great honor that I advance you to the rank of champion. You've done it. You've shown them all you're the best. Well, almost the best. You're done competing in normal arena matches, but they're still the grand champion. Kid, you've got more guts and skill. I think you can take the Great Prince. Go over and talk to Isabel if you think I'm right. All right, so they think I can take the Great Prince. There he is right there. Um, does Owen have anything Hello, else to say? Hello, my friend. What? Let's, let's see what he says if you put ready for a match. Ready? Ready for what? You're a champion now. The grand championship is the only thing left. All right, all right. Um, he says talk to Isabel, but the quest marker is going to him. Let's talk to Isabel. And real who quick. in Shinji's name might you be? Look, and wait. I know you. You're that new champion, right? Hmm. I guess I know why you're here. But let me tell you, you're making a big mistake. The Grey Prince is the best fighter the arena has ever seen. He can't be beaten, not by you. But hey, it's your right. If you want to challenge Agranac, go right ahead. He lives down here in the Bloodworks. 
do that. Come talk to me again, and I'll arrange your match. All right, so she doesn't think we can do it, but you know, spoiler alert, we can definitely do it. So let's go talk to Agronak and challenge him. The journal, the journal, my father's journal. My whole life has been nothing but a lie. I'm no great prince. I'm a vile, wretched spawn of evil. Please leave me. I can't. I... Oh, but I see. You're a champion. You want my grand champion title, is that it? Please challenge me. In the arena, I can end my misery. Yes, I wish to challenge you. Yes, yes, yes. I accept your challenge. Go. Go speak with Isabel. Tell her you're ready. Then we'll... Uh, we'll meet in the arena. Yes, that will do. Alright, so he doesn't seem that pumped up about it, which, you know, it's not a good sign. I mean, what's he gonna do? Throw the match? I don't know. Let's go talk to Isabel, though. The quest marker's still saying go to him, but let's go talk to Isabel. So you've actually challenged the Grey Prince. Do you really know what you've gotten yourself into? I know exactly Agarag what I've gotten myself into. is the best fighter ever to step into an arena. Before me. Be beaten, not by I you. can. He can. But if I you mean. want to fight him, that's your right. I do. Well, you know the drill. You let me know when you're ready for a match, and Agronak will head up to the arena and prepare for your arrival. Just make sure you understand our rules of competition for this match. Fighting the grand champion, well, the rules are a bit different. Hmm, okay, what's the rules of the competition then? Okay, listen up. There are no disqualifications in a grand champion match. That means you can wear whatever armor you damn well please. Agronak will be wearing his raiment of valor and he's probably got it heavily enchanted, so feel free to do the same to any armor you have. Now, as you know, in any standard arena match, you're forbidden from looting the corpse of a fallen opponent. Well, this ain't any standard match. In the event that you beat the Grey Prince, you're to remove his armor and present it to me. Then you'll get your own raiment of valor. Alright, so basically now we can wear whatever we want, which is good, because we're going to wear the dark... Uh the black hand robe and also we can loot uh the gray prince and take his armor so yeah i'd say we're ready let's do it so you're ready to fight the gray prince are you well you can't go out there without a name you know an arena name something catchy something the people of cyrodiil will remember when they tell stories about your inglorious defeat so what's it gonna be Okay, so we can pick a name here that we want to be in. I, I always like this. So we can be the Spellslinger, the Butcher, the Shadow Step, the Black Arrow, Skull Crusher, the Divine Avenger, the Messenger of Death, the Crimson Blade, Man of War, Sor Sir Slaughter, the Tamriel Terror, Dragonheart. Usually I pick Dragonheart, but I think the Black Arrow or Shadow Step sounds good. I mean, the Black Arrow. Now that's cool. Um, let's go with the Black Arrow. The Black Arrow? I like it. Yeah, that'll do nicely. All right, it's time to see if you're crazy good or just plain crazy. The Grey Prince is headed up to the arena as we speak. Go up there and meet him, one champion to the next. May the Divines have mercy on your soul. All right. And now we can do it. We can go fight, um... Agronax. So let's go do that, and hopefully it'll be just, you know, a respectable match, and uh, may the best man win, right? Right. Good people of Cyrodiil, welcome to the Imperial City Arena. Believe it or not, someone has actually challenged the unbeatable Arena Grand Champion. But who is possibly brave enough to face such a fearless foe? Could wrest the title from our famed Grey Prince. Good people, I give you the Blue Team's latest champion, a warrior of skill, strength, and determination. Behold, the Black Arrow! Wow, I'm getting booed, really? You guys are mean. Lords and ladies, citizens of the Empire. I give you the Battle of the Ages. Combatants, steal yourselves. Lower the gates. Also, I forgot to uh, equip. 
the black hand robe. There we go. And uh, the reason I picked black arrows because obviously we're black. Not literally, but we're wearing black clothes. And also, I'm going to be firing arrows. So, go figure. Let's do it! I'm ready! What are you waiting for? Kill me. What? Please, just kill me. Can't you see? It's what I want. I can't live like this, knowing I'm something filthy, something evil. Kill me. Yeah, so it turns out the Grey Prince actually wants us to kill him, and he will not fight us no matter what. There's nothing we can say to him, there's nothing we can do. We have to kill him, and he's not going to fight back. Please, just... Yeah, he just says the same things. You don't get any options. You can't exit, I believe, but I'm not going to try it because we need to take this guy out. So, uh, yeah, we just need to kill him, and I think arrows would just be way too slow. So let's switch to Suffer Thorn and just kill him. Oh. <laughs> This is so sad. I don't think he's going to get a heal for this one. I don't think there would be much point in that. And just like that, the Grey Prince. Alright, and that's all she wrote, so now we need to loot Agranac. Agranac's raiment, heavy armor, fortify personality 10, fortify athletics 10, fortify fatigue, fatigue 10, fortify health 10, worth around 4,000 gold, but I don't think we get to keep it. And also 7 gold, that's kind of random. And as you can see, you know, he's, a, like I said before, he's an odd tint of green, almost like teal, almost like glowing blue. Very weird. Can we take his stuff? Yeah, we can take the stuff, even though there's not really much of a point because it's, uh, it is a uh, non-enchanted stuff, but uh, yeah, the quest marker is still telling me to go to Agranac, which is very odd, but we need to actually go talk to Isabel and see what's what with us being champion. By the love of Shinji, you did it! You beat the Grey Prince! This... this is unbelievable! That makes you the best fighter the arena has ever seen! You've got Agranac's Raiment of Valor. Good. Give it to me. All right. Now I give you your own. By Shinji, I... I'm shaking. This is amazing. Okay, do. Do you want a heavy Raiment of Valor or a light Raiment of Valor? Your choice. Even though I usually don't wear it because I specialize in light, I'm gonna go ahead and pick. Give me the light Raiment of Valor. Right. Valor. Okay. It is with great honor that I present to you this gold and the esteemed Raiment of Valor and name you the new Arena Grand Champion. You've done it. The Grey Prince was a great orc, rest his soul and all that, but you beat him. <laughs> now go. Take some time to rest. When you're feeling up to it, come talk to me again and we'll discuss your future. Alright, so we've done it. So we've got their Light Raiment of Valor. Also, a thousand gold. Pretty nice. Uh, anything else? Quest has been updated. Uh, let's take a look at that Raiment before we talk to Isabel and finish off the uh, the arena. Where is it? Arena Light Raiment. No, that's the regular one, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Where is our actual... There we go. Light Raiment of Valor. 4,000. Fortify Personality 10. Fortify Athletics 10. Fortify Fatigue 10. Fortify Health 10. Very similar to Agronax. Okay, now let's go talk to Isabel and see what's next. <laughs> oh, there's the new Arena Grand Champion. Now listen, I bet you're wondering what's next, eh? Well, I've been thinking. Why not spice things up a bit? Give the people of Cyrodiil what they really want. We revise the rules of competition, offer a new kind match. I'm talking weekly shows, fights, pitting you against... Are you ready for this? Monsters! And maybe even some wild animals. Sounds great, doesn't it? I've had some people out collecting your new combatants. The wilderness is full of them. Let me know when you're ready for a match and it's showtime. Alright, so uh, let's go ahead and do one of these just so you guys can see what happens when you, when you do okay, this. Okay, based on your abilities, here are your choices. 
Do you want to fight one goblin berserker, two trolls, or two goblin berserkers and one troll? Let's just go for uh, one goblin berserker this time because we're getting pretty close to the time limit here and there's still a lot of stuff I want to do. I want to make this fast. So yeah, we'll go with one goblin berserker, but you can pick different things every time. I think it's like once a week. You've got it. I'll have the goblin berserker brought out to the arena. Now get up there and give the people what they paid for. Will do. Okay, so before we go up there, let's just talk to Owen, see if he has anything to say. Hello, my friend. Ready for a match? Ready? Ready for what? You're grand champion. You've already won it all. The whole damn thing. <laughs> see, I knew I knew Owen would come around. Yes. He came around. He he respects us now. Let's talk to this guy. He's still nice, right? You you killed Agronak. The Grey Prince is dead. He was my friend, my mentor. Congratulations, Grand Champion. Hope it was worth it. Yeah, so this guy was nice to us the whole entire time, and then we killed the Grand Champion. You know, it's just business. We had to do it. It's not like we're not going to be the Grand Champion to save that guy's feelings. And yeah, now he doesn't like us, which is sad. So let's go kill this Goblin Berserker. Good people of the Imperial City, welcome to the arena. You've come to watch the Grand Champion battle some of Cyrodiil's fiercest creatures. Who will survive this week's epic battle of combatant versus beast? Let's find out. Lower the gates! Alright, let's do it. Wow, this guy can take a beating, huh? Man, this guy's annoying. Okay, uh, let's equip that shadow hunt bow. Oh, come on. Okay, let's hit this guy with some arrows. Whoa, did you guys see that? Did he just disappear or did I just make that up? So yeah, you can come back once a week and fight monsters and uh, you get some gold. To me, it's really not worth it. It's kind of boring, especially because it's like the same stuff over and over. I think there are different monsters. It's not just like goblins and trolls the whole time. I think there are... There is like a variety, um, but out of all the stuff you can do at the end of guilds, this is like by far probably my least favorite. I don't know. It's not that big of a deal. Come on, goblin. Okay. You can loot him and get your arrows back. Rusty iron dagger. Yeah, and that's basically it. So let's talk to Isabel, and then uh, we'll head outside, and there's a couple things to do, and then we'll end this episode, which is probably going to be the longest Let's Play so far out of this series. Great show, great show. You really brought gold. down the house. Here's your gold. Now get some rest, and I'll see you next week. All right, so we can, yeah, so we can come back once a week and do this over well, and over. Well, if it isn't the black... We're just not ready. It takes time to find those beasties and get them back here alive. Yeah. All right. So let's take a look at our quest journal just to see what it says to finish it off. As Arena Grand Champion, I can fight in weekly matches against various creatures. All I need to do is see Isabella Andronicus in the Arena Blood in the Arena Bloodworks and tell her I'm ready for a match. So yeah, that's basically the end of the arena, and that's all there is to it, really. Uh, let's step outside and get our final little bonuses. Oh, uh, who's this guy? Wow, you're the grand champion. I saw your fight against the Grey Prince. You're the best. Can I, can I follow you around? I won't get in the way. All right, so many of you probably know what this is. This is the adoring fan when you become the grand champion. Uh, he'll basically follow you. He'll use a torch. I don't think he can die. He might be able to die. I'm not sure. I never really use followers, as you guys know. Uh, so you can say, beat a kid, I don't need a fan, or follow your esteemed grand champion. But he is so annoying. I'm going to say, beat a kid, I don't need a fan. Oh, gee. You sure? Okay, well, I'll be hanging around the arena grounds if you need someone to worship the ground you walk on. Bye. Yeah, this guy is so unique because you can tell by his hair, like, he's the only person with hair like that. And yeah, he will follow you. And you if any of you guys know, this is actually uh, Cicero from uh, Skyrim. At least that's what you're led to believe uh, based on the lore in the Cicero journals. So, yeah, I'm sure you, a lot of you probably, probably already know that because that's, like, a really interesting thing. This is uh, actually, apparently, Cicero. Uh, from the Dark Brotherhood. 
And you can kind of tell, he, he, uh, you know what, I think they have the same voice actor, I'm not sure about that. Okay, so that's one thing, and also if we head on over here, the arena area itself doesn't have much, but there is a little thing over here. If we come over here, and, uh, I believe all we have to do is stand here, right? For a couple seconds. So what's this about? Yes? The reason I'm doing this is because I think it's supposed to give you, like, unarmed if you just watch here for- Maybe you have to talk to him. This is Branwen, though. This is Owen's daughter. Sorry, friend. No time to talk. My friend Salith and I are training to be combatants in the arena. It takes a lot of dedication to do what we do. Oh, does it? Yeah, I'm not the grand champion or anything. No talk. No talk. Only train. Bronwyn and Salith, we become combatants in arena. We fight. We be champions. We be famous. Huh, I could have swore if you stand here you get unarmed if you like watch them or something. I don't know if you have to stand longer or something or if I'm just doing something wrong. Or maybe I just made that up and I, that's just a memory that I created. I don't know. Um, but I thought if you stand here you get unarmed. It says in, the top, in like in the top left that you get unarmed. I could have swore. Anyways, that's pretty much it for the arena. There's nothing else on the grounds and we've done pretty much all we can do. We are now the arena grand champion. Uh, just before I end this episode, I'm going to take a look at the factions. Just so we can see, I want to sort of do this every time we finish a guild. Arena Grand Champion, Dark Brotherhood listener. We're off to a good start. Next uh, episode, I'm pretty sure we're going to start the Thieves Guild, which is one of the best guild quest lines in any Elder Scrolls games ever. It's just amazing, and there's lots of fun things to do. So, hope you guys will look forward to that. Thanks for watching. My name is Grofan, of course, and as always, have a great day. Bye. Hey everybody, I hope you enjoyed watching that video. If you did, please consider leaving a like. Also, if you'd like to subscribe and or watch a video that's probably going to be related to the one that you just watched, you can click the annotations on the screen. Finally, if you want to help me grow my channel, you can also share this video on Facebook and Twitter by clicking share below the video. Regardless, thanks for watching, and I will see you guys later.